What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video, following yesterday's bad news, I have some good news this time for iOS 14, 14.0.1 and so on, jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Anytrance and their contest, play lyrics, memories, remember, tell and share, in which you can win the new AirPods Pro or Apple Music subscription by just sharing your favorite music lyrics on your social media with the hashtag remember with Anytrance. Check them out in the link below. So as you probably remember, the ABC Research is the only only company that managed to jailbreak iOS 14 somehow with an exploit, a zero day exploit that they seem to have in here and they kept posting various images of their exploit running and achieving SSH using the drop beer. So why is this relevant now? Well because I talked to them and apparently we might get this exploit, stay tuned for that. So for those of you who are new to the channel and do not know what ABC Research is, they're basically a security research company based somewhere in Europe and they seem to be researching iOS amongst other things. They have been credited by Apple in the past in their security content for finding bugs, so we have at least that to prove somehow that they may be legitimate. Back on August they posted this, a video in which they basically show you that they jailbreak iOS 14, which at that time was in beta and they jailbroke it with an application which can be seen very blurry in here because of the resolution, but that's their jailbreak application. And while that's not a fully fleshed jailbreak, it managed to get SSH with no problem, which means that they do have at least some sort of code signing bypass or you know code sign injection or whatever because the drop beer has to be trusted somehow or at least they signed it somehow to bypass core trust. But anyways they do prove in here the fact that it's 14.0 so what did I talk to them? Well in my DMs yesterday I asked them hey uh, can you provide more info about your iOS 14 jailbreak slash exploit not looking for the bug just to know what it can do. Planning to make a video with some clarifications. Also do you intend to publicly release it after it gets patched? Thank you for your time. And yesterday they were replied quote hi I'll speak to our developers what info we can share so I'm going to make another video soon when they give me more information about you know their bug and whatever but for now I wanted to make this video because it's important they also said quote regarding release we hope it will not be patched anytime soon but in the case this will happen then we will share full details this this is important they are planning to release their exploit which powered their jailbreak tool in here which got SSH and stuff like that so it seems to be very powerful and they are planning to release it once it gets patched. It's not a case like the Pango one in here, which of course they managed to jailbreak iOS 14 GM or Goldmaster release after the release. They post it here on whatever social network this is and of course they also showed the same thing, basically running SSH and showing the iOS 14 version. However, it's very unlikely we're going to see anything from Pango even if it gets patched. However, ABC Research seems to be interested in publishing their vulnerability once Apple patches it. That's what they told me in here. Anyways, when we Will that get patched? Well it seems to be clear that iOS 14.0.1 did not patch it yet and therefore the vulnerability is still zero day at this point. So we have to wait for it to be patched first before we can get it. Now why is that good news? Well it's good news because we finally have something coming from ABC Research for iOS 14.0. Now it may work with 14.0.1 in the future too because it hasn't been patched in there. However if you didn't update yet to iOS 14 definitely do not update now. Now, it may take months for this vulnerability to be patched, could be 14.2, could be 14.3, we don't know. And therefore, staying on 13.7 and lower is a much, much better thing to do. But if you're already on iOS 14, there's no going back. There's no 13.7 signed for you. If you are on 14.0, stay there. Do not update the 14.0.1. The lower, the better. Once that vulnerability gets released, we might be able to start updating the uncover for iOS 14. However, a very important thing with iOS 14, it's not like the 13.7 bug, which is basically plug and play. You just plug it into the uncover and it's likely not going to take too much work to update it for 13.7 after that. However, with the iOS 14, even when we get the bug, you in here and the exploit, we would still need a lot of things to make Uncover work properly on iOS 14. It's not just the kernel exploit, the whole post exploitation is dead on iOS 14. Most parts of the Uncover have to be rewritten because iOS 14 destroyed a lot of our post exploitation techniques. So staying on 13.7 and lower is better if you have an A12 or A13 device, but if you already updated, stay on 14.0. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Gios now, till next time, subscribe to stay updated, I will make an Another video when I get more details from ABC Research. Till the next time, peace out.